Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. Today we're at Knott's Berry Farm for the grand opening of Knott's Berry Farm 2021. Super excited, two years I've been waiting for this. Oh, it's one of my favorite events here in Southern California. Even my friend behind me thinks so as well. So, without further ado, how about you and I dive right in. And we've officially made it to Knott's Berry Farm, but tonight, for the first time in a while, the park will be transforming into Knott's Scary Farm. People are slowly making their way into the parking lot, those attending tonight's event. Remember, Knott's Scary Farm is a separate ticketed event. And oh man, I'm so excited. And just as a reminder, if you didn't know, yeah, Knott's Spooky Farm is happening daytime weekend, September 25th through October 31st, and the Knott's Scary Farm select nights September 16th through October 31st. Oh my goodness, we've officially made it to watch the opening ceremony here at Knott's Scary Farm 2021. It, you know, it's been two years since we've seen this. I'm, the fog is already rolling in. Things are getting scary, right, Michael? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Michael's joining me this evening for Not Scary Farm. So stoked. Don't worry, that's not a character. That's just a guy from Camp Snoopy. Oh, yeah, and as the fog continues to roll in, so does the crowd. There they are. Everyone's super excited for Not Scary Farm 2021. See, that's just one thing about Not Scary Farm that I love is just the atmosphere. You cannot beat the atmosphere here at Not Scary Farm. It's just fantastic. The crowd is continuing to get larger, that's for sure. All right, the ropes are being dropped. Oh, no, false alarm, everyone, false alarm. And I don't know if you guys could see the gentleman that's jumping. That's Adam the Woo. He, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's in the middle of the crowd there, getting ready for the opening ceremony. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder what kind of creatures are going to be crawling out of this. making our way backstage because there are four haunted attractions back here. There's the Depths, Waxworks, Paranormal Inc, and of course, Dark, Dark Entities. entities. <laughs> That's what the other one is. Yeah. <laughs> but we were just talking about earlier how seeing the opening yeah. ceremony was like, it was surreal. It was yeah. been two years, hence like, we've seen that. So, yeah, and you could definitely feel everyone's energy. Oh sure. man, you could feel the mood. I was, I was about to shed a tear. It was just so nice to be, yeah. it's just nice to be back here at Not Scary Farm and see all the performers coming out. And you know, they're, they're hyped. Yeah, they're, they're hyped. hyped. Yeah. So it's gonna be a fantastic night, but let's head over to our first attraction, do that, and then do some more exploring throughout the night. Yeah, yeah our first attraction is gonna be Paranormal Inc. We'll do that one, but yeah, this is where they have some of the haunted houses. They have the depths over there. Waxworks is right over here by, uh, by Ghost Riders Helix. And then behind Paranormal Inc. is Dark Entities, which is the space one. <laughs> back into ghost town look the spooky lighting has turned on Ooh. as we continue to make our way through the park look even supreme scream is in the in the mood for scary farm i love the lighting package on supreme scream here we go
we just got out of dark and look who we ran into look the gang is all here what's going on are you guys having fun and not scary farm so far yes oh my god oh yeah you guys got your face painted let's see we got it's, it's hard to see it i'm gonna have to boost the color but we got the little drippage on your eye there and then you I, got, I wanted to blend in with the monster so i got like a full mask on my i was about eye. to say yeah there we go there we go yeah the full-on mask and what did you get miguel nothing just my face there we go <laughs> And then what about you, Spencer? I'm gonna go get a cheetah right now. Oh, there we go, the cheetah! What's funny though is like, this is the first place like we kind of met and hung out a little bit. Yeah! Over here, right? Oh, yeah, but here. I was about to say, right? I was about to say, we met two years ago in this spot. So this is like, I think we have to go through it. We're gonna have to go through it one more time. That's a good idea. Just to bring back those yeah, so that's a good idea. Yeah. Let's do it! All right, we're making our way through the boardwalk, which is carnival during Not Scary Farm, so you gotta watch out for those scary clowns, Michael. Watch out for those scary clowns. You never know. Oh, there's one right here. And the entrance to Mesmere is right underneath the accelerator's entrance. Super easy to find. Okay, here we go. The all new Mesmer Maze. Brand new for 2021. Ooh. Oh my Great yeah. time back there. Uh, Waxworks is always with it. The set design is beautiful, and mm -hmm. all the scary farm mazes, wouldn't you yeah. agree? Yeah, it's it, it's like it's insane to think that they put that much detail in all the mazes here. It's it's incredible, but a lot of fun in Waxworks. One of my favorites from last time we were here in 2019, mm -hmm. and then Paranormal Inc. Um, it's definitely showing its age a little bit, but nonetheless, it was still a great time. It's still fun. Yeah, like, that maze is still fun, for it's, sure. It's pretty unique, too, because you can go two separate ways in the very beginning of the maze, then you meet back up in the middle. Mm -hmm. So, very unique, and it, you don't really see that very often yeah. in hot events. Oh, oh there's a show or something happening. Yeah. yeah, by the way, there's a lot of new shows there's this a lot year. Of shows this year, yeah. So, don't miss the new Maybe. entertainment offerings for 2021. Yeah. Alrighty, we're entering the Goring 20s. Yes. Yeah, you walk willingly into the mouth of the other side. Alright. Go away, devil boy. Why don't you go away, huh? Give me some of your church money. This is definitely a different scare zone and I like it. I like that it's a little different. It's it's just there's so much going on. There all, all the characters have their own thing and that's fantastic. The characters are just they have, it's like they each have their own little story to tell. Yeah, I got to say this is how fast I was driving to not scary farm as well. So I don't blame them. But now we're in the heart of Ghost Town, which is one of the oh one of the scare zones. You see, the fog is so thick that you can't even see through the end of the street here. It's it's crazy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You can barely can see through the street. It's unlike any other haunt in a theme park here in SoCal. It's 
It's insane. And this is what makes knots so much fun. And the scare zones. The scare zones are just so good. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, look at that. You're just literally walking into an abyss. <laughs> you have no idea what is beyond that big cloud of fog. See, right now there's a little bit of a break, but then all of a sudden the machines all turn back on and then it just, everything disappears again. So cool. Next up for us is the depths. This one's a returning maze as well, but relatively on the newer side. Okay. Oh, this room is so cool. Holy moly. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, what do you think of that one? They got me pretty good at some scares. I was kind of surprised. I was gonna say, yeah, that one actually yeah. had some really good jump scares and and that, which was yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, so I'm surprised again. So now I'm kind of curious, like how this one's gonna be. This is this one's called Dark Entities, and this one is a a space themed haunted house. It's like a, a spaceship that's been taken over by aliens. And I really liked this one in years past, so I wonder if they changed anything a little bit this year. Dark Entities and The Depths, mm -hmm. which are back here next to Waxworks and uh, Paranormal Inc. And you know what? Out of the four, I think The Depths and Dark Entities were the strongest. Yeah, so far they've been the scariest. Like, I've gotten scared more in those two mazes than I have in the other four mazes that we've been through. Yeah, I would say Dark Entities and The Depths were, yeah, the most intense so far in the night, which is really good because, again, these are returning attractions. Uh -huh. And we've seen them before, but the fact that the, the performers are doing so good. They're yeah. doing really well. They're they're using their triggers and uh -huh. they're utilizing their spots, which is great. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing I did want to mention before we move on is I wish, you know, if anybody from Knots is watching this, I wish they would utilize triggers similar to what they do at Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights. The triggers don't have to be every single scare but they're extremely effective. So like maybe every other two scares or every other two, uh, three scares or so, use yeah. a trigger, build it into the maze because it, yeah. it definitely amps up the intensity. It does. So I don't, I don't think any haunt should be afraid to use those because they definitely work. And what I mean by trigger, I mean that, um, that lighting and audio cue that's very intense that you normally see in the Halloween Horror Nights mazes. They should definitely utilize that here at Not Scary Farm. But with that said, Dark Entities and the Depths. Yeah, so far they've been my favorite. And then I, really, yeah. really good. So shout out to the cast. I mean, in general, yeah. shout out to all the cast mm -hmm. at Not Scary Farm. You guys are killing yeah, it. Yeah, they're all doing good. Maybe so yeah. far, stand out, Depths and Dark Entities. Mm -hmm. Yet to see the front of the park and look at this amazing display with the three skeletons here and the trees on each side. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there they are right there. Oh yeah, definitely a great photo op when you enter Not Scary Farm. Don't miss this. This is, oh, it looks so good at night. Definitely wait later on in the evening too because when you first get here at seven, uh, it's still pretty light out. So wait, wait a couple hours and then come back up here in the front and take your photos because this looks gorgeous. The night is slowly coming to an end here at Not Scary Farm. That was a lot of fun. This is the first thing you see when you walk in, the last thing you see. 
Classic ghost town sign. Yeah, you know, we were definitely making all these faces this evening at Not Scary Farm. Every, especially this one right here. Walking through some of those mazes. If you guys haven't noticed, they have a spirit jersey. Not Scary Farm spirit jersey. That is really neat. Can we admire this window display though? Just yeah, I mean the window second. display in general well, is cool pretty is. next level. Well, you know, I think that's gonna do it for today's video from Not Scary Farm 2021. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel and you love these videos and more, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so stay up to date on every time I post new videos. Not Scary Farm has incredible value and you can't beat the atmosphere. The Knott's has amazing atmosphere that you will not find at Universal or Six Flags or any other haunt from a big theme park. So if you want that, come to Knott's Scary Farm. It's a lot of fun. I have an Instagram account. I'll leave that link down below in the description as well as a huge shout out to my Buy Me a Coffee supporters. You guys are absolutely amazing. And also a huge shout out to Knott's Scary Farm for inviting us out check out Not Scary Farm 2021, so thank you so much for that. I greatly appreciate it. But other than that, though, I hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is. I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.